These are very 1960s. Very 1960s. CNN live feed in the library. This is the backside of the new library that we're going to go around. So today we're going to go into the new library, it's a wet old day, wet old grey day, end of March, but the new library is open, we think there's some sort of art exhibition, but whatever, we're going to go and have a look inside, there's gold. That's the business school. That's the uh, design architecture school, and the new building over there will be the science faculty. And the general teaching block is over there, and the churchy looking place is the new admin block. And here we're going into the entrance. Student Learning and Activity Centre. So this has only been open about two weeks, I think. got a broken window. Yeah. I guess as the building settles some of these panes of glass might panes of glass might shatter. It's Saturday so it's very quiet. Study Carol's discussion room, yeah. students' dating room. That's why they have glass doors. Very 1960s. Sit out there in the sunshine, in the rain. There are always a lot of stairs, but there will be lifts as well for disabled students. There are the lifts over there. study space here nice views out the glass and there's a balcony you can get out on those buildings over there that's a staff accommodation. That room and going this way, there's the lifts, as I said. More lifts here. And into a big breakout study room.
I don't know where the books are. This is meant to be the library. Where are the books? Oh, it says here, library. I've been, uh, I've been uh, booking some, or suggesting some books, especially the one that um, I proofread, a sociology book. I'll put a picture of it right here. So I proofread that. And I've been asking this library to get some copies of it. And then toilets, more study rooms, meeting rooms, and bookshelves, empty, more study rooms over there. ubiquitous hot water machine for your hot noodles and the hot water research service so the more sh sh shelves back there so maybe that's where the journals maybe that's where the journals and more books are so there's more here somebody actually has an office so yeah that looks like more stacks stacks here this building is like a sports building under that curved window is the gym student accommodation back to the business school lots of study space Only a few students using it at the moment. Little individual carols if you want to get away on your own. Little individual spaces. Nice comfy chair. You get down here and have yourself a nap. Yeah, you can come up here and have a nap. is calling. I can't have a nap. Oh yeah, rocking chair. That's what you want. <laughs> you want one at home. Like a grandpa. Like an old grandpa. But you could come up here. Sit here. Have your movie playing go to sleep not a nice view so look, and there look look you've got your beanie bag this is very google isn't it very modern it google company have your breakout room your, your bean bags your little places you can have a nap what's this a karaoke what's this maybe it's ktv I doubt it. Yeah. I wonder what it is. I wonder what they are for. Like they're gonna have AC in them. Perhaps if you, perhaps if you got to do talking or something. Secret things. Look, look how many more floors there are. Look, one, two, three more floors. Oh, look, we can go outside. Yeah, these are very 1960s. These are very 1960s. Very 1960s. Let's go outside. And here's a view from here. And look, we've still got more floors to explore. That's where the workers are living. The lake. On a good day, there's lots of uh, bird life here, but it's a bit dull and wet. If I was a bird, I'd be staying indoors. But uh, that's a good view of the university here for you. 
that's where we live this is what we call the towers I've showed you that before you've seen some apartments in the new the new towers and these towers we can give you the agents contact detail if you're going to rent privately rents are about 2500 3500 a month and of course you get subsidized by the university as well so more stairs we can't go up there it's close we'll have a look around here more workspaces more group spaces discussion room or somewhere to meet your girlfriend or boyfriend more shelf space for books nice chairs a nice view and more comfy chairs here look nice comfy chairs individual desks more meeting rooms bigger bigger read meeting rooms I don't have my uh, card more lifts I wonder if you could go up upstairs on the lift let's see if we can go upstairs on the lift fifth floor even though the stairs are out of bounds oh look there's more stairs up there there's a student there so this looks much the same as what we've just walked around yeah hello you're actually in the library doing some studying yeah, very good it's a very nice place yeah a yeah, very good place. Yeah. Yeah. Busy, got his USB stuff. Yeah. Hello. Nice place, right? Yeah. yeah. Nice balcony where you can go out, sit. It's not a coffee shop in the building so, that I can see. But you're going to have to bring your own coffee and sandwiches and lunch if you want to sit up here. It'd be nice. The weather's right and it's not too hot. It'd be nice and lovely view. So this is much the same as the, the, that we've seen. Uh, we've got some more stairs to go up. Let's go up those stairs from the oh, what's this? The six mezzanine at the top. A lot of light through the roof. Toilets. More study room. Stacks. Oh look. Looks like this is a lecture theatre, meeting room, talks, somewhere to put some food. Maybe <laughs> on the big chunk of plastic. Like marble. That might break out space. People can see it. More rocking chairs. Movable tables. What we all want. But no art. I think it's in the art gallery. Over there. No, over there, the art gallery. Yeah, where we saw that guy's stuff. More little workrooms. Little cubicle places where you can catch 40 winks. <laughs> Study tables with nice lights on. That's us finished, maybe. No 
are we going around here? More little spaces. If you could lie down there, have a nap. More, more book spaces. But like Lisa says, it's uh, you know, do modern libraries need uh, so many books? Right, because they can access journals online through the university connection, JSTOR, those sort of things. You can get books on Kindle, ebooks. Do you actually need rows and rows of books like maybe what we we were used to when we went to university? Yeah, you know, hundreds and hundreds, thousands of books. That village over there that you can see, the university is going to expand right over there. And the village you can see behind the church building, the main building, that village is going to be expanded into as well. So all that, the village there is going to be knocked down and all that village will be knocked down. And of course, this was all farmland. This was all farmland and village before the university was here. So there are huge ex ex expansion plans for this place. Over the next five, ten years, it's going to get huge. So it's really interesting to be here, sort of halfway through that development. Some people have been here right from the very beginning. Some of the faculty have been here right from when it first opened. Bigger meeting rooms, more sort of breakout spaces. Bigger rooms, nice seating outside. It's quiet. Some nice bedside tables. More little funky little uh, spaces to work. Interesting that they have a CNN live feed in the library. Now, some people will tell you that that's not even not allowed in China, but of course it's allowed. Students need to be kept up to date with world with world news, what's happening around the world, not just in China. We can only go down to three. There it is again. CNN live feed. Live CNN feed in China. This is the basement. Isa wanted to come down to the basement. Oh look, more people working in the basement. Now this is where the coffee stop should be. So there's one-stop student services. We're just hunting to see if there's a coffee shop. Which, you know, if it was on if it was on point, it would have a little coffee bar, drinks bar for the students. Oh what does it say? Oh, no drink no food or drink. No food, drinks in spill-proof or tightly covered containers are allowed. Right, so they're not allowed to eat, but they're allowed to have a drink in a tight container. So, no coffee shop. But they can get coffee just over the road in the, in the little shop. And the, uh, and the uh, dining hall is just over the, over the road. It's not 100 miles away. People are already working, huh? Good students. Some of my students will still be in bed. <laughs> but it is Saturday. It is Saturday. So I think that ends our trip around our new library of WKU. Any questions? Ask me in the comments. Don't forget.
too. Yeah, light, it's not the end. <laughs> We've got another big place to have a look. This looks like a big, what's it called, a conference hall. Club Culture Festival. So this is a big conference hall. Big screen. Oh, the sound in the other place was horrible. Okay, that's the end of our trip around the library, study hall, whatever they call it.